Hello, in this video I want to show you a very easy and convenient way to shoot stop motion animation videos and edit them right inside Adobe Premiere Pro and we're starting right now. So a stop motion animation video just to recap is basically a video where objects that are normally inanimate seem to be moving around the frame on their own. It is normally achieved by taking a series of photographs where you move and rearrange the object inside your frame manually with your own hands and then make small adjustments to the position of those objects that they seem to be moving on their own if you stick those images together into a sequence and play it back as a movie. But doing that by taking a series of photos can be a little bit annoying because normally you would have to take a picture every time you rearrange something in your shot and that you know you, you can bump your camera you can change the framing ever so slightly and to solve that of course you can use an intervalometer you can set okay I'm gonna take each frame every like 10 seconds and then you have 10 seconds between each shot in order to rearrange your framing but that 10 seconds can be also a little bit annoying because sometimes it's very easy to change your scene. For instance, I was shooting a stop motion animation for my recent video when I was showing uh, this uh, camera pocket tool set from Small Rig and I was moving it into the frame and then I was unfolding these tools. So when I was moving it up the frame, it was very easy to just move, move, move between each shot. But then I was fumbling a little bit with those tools in order to arrange them in a particular order. And that took me longer periods of time between each shot. So if I have a fixed amount of time like for instance 10 seconds then at the beginning I will be waiting for the shot to be taken because I'm already ready with my next frame and that makes you feel like you're wasting your time but then after that if I need to spend a little bit more time to finesse with the position of those tools or something I would run into the situation where the shot would need to be taken before I'm even ready with my next frame and that can also be frustrating it leads to additional frames that we have to discard but doing it that way ensures that you have the highest possible quality because you are working with raw photos and also the highest possible resolution because basically you are utilizing the entire sensor on your camera. But there is a way more convenient way to do that and you can edit it right inside Premiere Pro. You don't have to go for the step of exporting it from Lightroom and sometimes you don't need that extra resolution because it only plays back choppy in Premiere Pro or whatever editing software you are using. And also sometimes you just don't need that extra dynamic range and everything that raw photos provide you if you're doing it in a studio and you're lighting it with like studio lights for instance for this stop motion animation of this I was just using two aperture lights from both sides so as you can see there is minimal shadow and if you're doing that you don't really need that extra flexibility with colors and tones that raw photos provide you so what you can do instead you can just set up your camera figure out your framing use manual focus in your lens to prevent any jittering with the focus when you are moving those objects with your hands and then just hit record just shoot a normal video it can be 24 frames per second can be 30 frames per second whatever typically you can use a pretty low frame rate because you are going to be discarding a lot of frames anyway and if you use a lower frame rate you will end up with a file with a smaller size so just shoot a normal video and then stick it into Premiere Pro and then in Premiere Pro you will just have to select those particular frames that you will use in the final stop motion and it might seem like a lot of work and it actually is a ton of work let me actually jump in here a uh, future editing camel because I actually came up with an extension for Adobe Premiere Pro which speeds up the process of cutting down this uh, very very long clip into a final stop motion animation video very very easily because doing that manually is a lot of work. You have to sift through a very very long clip, select the frames that you want, cut down the clip, move it around, remove the gap, move it around again, select another frame, delete, move, etc, etc, etc. It is very tedious and I think that most people stay away from doing stop motion animation videos because it is just so tedious and time consuming to edit them. So I actually came up with a plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro which is called Stop Motion Convert and with this plugin you can pretty much do it all completely automatically. You just select a clip and you hit one button which will add markers to this clip based on an algorithm that I have implemented and those markers should be placed pretty much at the optimal positions of the clip that indicate the frames that will be used in the final stop motion animation video and then you have actually a chance to review those markers right here on the left hand side if, if any frame needs to be removed because there's a shot with your hands or something like this just remove it conveniently you can just control or command click and delete all of those markers that you don't want and then you can just hit convert and the stop motion convert plugin will automatically get all of those one frame longs portions of this clip 
and it will stick it back to back on a video frame right above it and then you can just nest those and do whatever you want with those you can color grade them you can apply some other effects and you have a final stop motion animation video in just pretty much two clicks super easy and super convenient if you want to check out that plugin head over to the description of this video and check out the first link right there and right now if you want to check out more premiere pro tutorials that i have on my channel click on the playlist right here and if you want to check out my other very very awesome plugin for premiere pro to make those zoom in and pan over animations just so much easier you can click on the video right here when i explain all about it don't forget to subscribe because i post new videos pretty much every single week and also give this video a like if you liked it i would really appreciate it see you next time hopefully and bye bye